Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today is another gut-wrenching episode of Eating the Dollar Stores. This is a series where I go up and down the aisles of the dollar stores, finding what's edible and what's not. Today, I am reviewing Pagasa Peanut Butter Sandwich Cookies. Now, you gotta know, first of all, I am a freaking huge fan of Nutter Butters. I have loved those things since I was little, but I haven't had any in a long time because they have gotten so expensive. Regardless, because I love them so much, I have a very vivid memory, representation. I can taste it now. I remember to a T what those things are like. So when I saw these at the dollar store, I knew I had to try because a buck versus what, four bucks or something like that for a package. If these are as good, if not better, which I can't imagine, than a Nutter Butter, getting these is a no-brainer. So this is a nine ounce package of cookies. Let's break in and see what's inside. Okay, now strangely, they don't come in a container. They're just stacked one on top of the other. About the same size as a Nutter Butter, maybe a little bit thinner, but a little bit longer lengthwise, if I remember right. Okay, let's give it a shot. Here's a look inside. Like I said, a little bit thinner, and that's why there is not a lot of peanut butter on that. It's not completely covering the cookie. The majority of what you're tasting when you bite into this is the cookie over the peanut butter, and that's not the way it should be. In my mind, it should be the other way around. The peanut butter definitely should be the star of the show. Now, the peanut butter by itself is actually pretty good. The flavor of the cookie itself, it's not really bad. Um, it's just kind of, you, you wish that the, the peanut butter had a different guy to pal around with. If it couldn't be an exact duplicate of the Nutter Butter cookie, I kind of wish it would have been at least a shortbread. Um, I think that would have been a little bit better than what we have here. Of course, the damage on these was only a dollar. Um, it's pretty good for the size of package you have here, but I wish the cookies were a lot better than they are. And I can get past the cookie, but it all comes down to the lack of peanut butter. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Pagasa peanut butter sandwich cookies from the dollar store. Um, I would give this a, a, a medium of the road meh. If they really want to bring these up to a good level, they really got to bring up that peanut butter game. So, so far, Nutter Butters are a premium must-have. You just try and replace them and you can't and you just surrender and you go, okay, I love Nutter Butters, I'm going to have to pay the price. I want to know from you guys, if you are Nutter Butter lovers, have you ever found a cookie that has been the equivalent or surpassed the taste of an actual Nutter Butter? Leave it in the comments. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and join me over at my social networks, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at Old Nerd Reviews, and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. You can also find me over the website, oldnerdreviews.com, and over at my other channel, Old Nerd Gamer. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll see you again. Bye now.